I've shown these clips in other videos I've made exposing Steven Anderson's new IFB cult, but just going to show them again to really hammer the point that there is no independence whatsoever in the so-called new IFB, because the puppet pastors are just simply parroting Steven Anderson, and they're just mimicking Steven Anderson. And in these clips I'm going to show, they're just invoking Anderson's name, because you listen to these new IFB puppet pastors, and hardly time goes by in their, in their little sermons before they're mentioning Pastor Anderson's name. It's always just Pastor Anderson, Pastor Anderson. And you're going to see that right here. It's showing that, that there is no independence whatsoever in the new IFB. It's a cult, and Anderson is the Pope. Here's the first clip. Check this out. The Pastor Anderson's the Pope. Pastor Anderson. Pastor Anderson's not the Pope. Pastor Anderson. Especially Pastor Anderson's in the unity factor. Pastor, Pastor Anderson. Anderson. It's not because I'm scared of Pastor Anderson seeing something I preached. Pastor Anderson. And correct everything I'm doing, not even with the Bible, but with Pastor Anderson. That's annoying. Pastor Anderson. I'm pretty sure they're coming to our church to find out anything I do different than Pastor Anderson so they can expose me to him. Pastor, Pastor Anderson. Anderson. Pastor Anderson this, Pastor Anderson that, Pastor Anderson, Pastor Anderson. Pastor, Pastor Anderson. Anderson. But there have been people that have come through here that have wanted him to be our Pope. Pastor, Pastor Anderson. Anderson. Labeled Andersonites. I didn't call myself that. Plenty of others sure do. Pastor, Pastor Anderson. Anderson. That I believe the majority of teaching, Pastor Anderson teaches, look to him for leadership, guilty as charged. Pastor, Pastor Anderson. Anderson. Identify as an independent, fundamental Baptist church. <laughs> New IFB or old IFB, we don't want to identify as either. Those that hate the new IFB, they say, well, it's a cult. You have a pope. He's in Arizona. Pastor Anderson. Pastor Anderson is my puppet master, and he's pulling the strings. Pastor, Pastor Anderson. Anderson. Pastor Anderson giving them the commandment, go put the sodomites to death. Pastor, Pastor Anderson. Anderson. I definitely like the power to influence masses of people. Pastor, Pastor Anderson. Anderson. Pastor Anderson said, Pastor Anderson said, Pastor Anderson said that a guy saved him. I'd believe him. Even if he goes to a Calvinist church, so I would just leave it at that. Pastor, Pastor Anderson. Anderson. I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualification. Pastor Anderson. Anderson. Pastor Anderson. 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 Pastor Anderson. Pastor Anderson. 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 Pastor Anderson. I love you, Pastor Anderson. Me and Pastor Anderson, we don't believe anything that we say. Beyond measure. Beyond measure. Beyond measure. Yeah, and if you thought that was bad or that was the end of it, get ready, there's more. Here's another clip of a compilation, essentially, just like the last clip, of the new IFB puppet pastors invoking Anderson's name. Because remember, the new IFB, their headquarters is in Arizona, and the doctrine comes from Stephen Anderson. See, the new IFB is Stephen Anderson, and without Stephen Anderson, there would be no new IFB. Check this out. Manly Perry's the biggest hypocritical flatterer. He preached a sermon called Why I'm an Andersonite, which is a stupid sermon. Why would anyone pronounce themselves to be an Andersonite? Labeled Andersonites. I didn't call myself that. Plenty of others sure do. Pastor Anderson. 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 Pastor you know, and by the way, mostly so-called, you know, mostly the so-called new IFB, most of the puppet pastors in this movement are not even scripturally qualified. They're essentially, they're in like their 30s and 40s, but they act like high school jocks and they do not meet the qualifications laid out in 1 Timothy 3 verse 1 to 7 and Titus chapter 1 verse 5 to 9 about the behavior of the, the bishop, the deacons, everything else. A lot of them don't meet those qualifications because when the moment you question Steve Anderson, you know, all this, all this, all these problems come about. And not to mention, too, most of these new IFB puppet pastors, if they were to have a speaker and the Anderson disapproves of, they, they would lose all their members because, you know, they're only where they're at because of Steve Anderson. And the pastors in this new IFB movement would be nothing without Steve Anderson and their churches are filled with Steve Anderson followers. So they won't dare question, and, and the ones who do go against Anderson are cast out and viciously attacked nonstop by the new IFB because it's a cult, and you don't dare question the Pope, Stephen Anderson. So wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.